Hello, good evening. How are you, Maribel, Mirna, Carlos Amaya, Enrique? How are good you guys? Good how evening. are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How about you? How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Good. I'm okay. You're okay? What about Good, your weekend? Thank you. Good. Okay. And your weekend? How was it? Did you go out? Did you go out or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You enjoy it, Carlos. I enjoy the carnival. Oh, really? You went to San Miguel? I live here in San Miguel. You live in San Miguel. Okay. Got it. Excellent. Okay, guys. So, well, welcome, Ronald. And, well, guys, we are going to start. Good evening. Okay. We are going to start with today's class. You know, today is, is raining. Okay. I don't know if you have some issues with the internet. Probably some of you will have it, right? Tal vez algunos de ustedes van a tener problemas con el internet, porque sí está lloviendo. At least here in San Salvador, está lloviendo bastante. Okay. So, let's see. We are going to start with today's class. And, well, the first thing that we are going to read is going to be the quote of the day. Eh, Maribel, help us reading, please. Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Siempre voy a estar eh, a ver, como oyente, teacher. Si un momento puedo, pues yo me incorporo. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Maribel, help us read. Read this. Okay. Be happiness. No sé cómo se llama. All yes. your life depends on the quality of okay. you to. Tones. No sé cómo se dice. Tones. Tones. Yes. Okay. Thank you. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. All right? So, yes. Dice que la felicidad depende de él. ¿De qué? De la calidad de nuestros pensamientos. Okay? And that is true, guys. So, we need to be careful with the things that we think. All right? We got to be careful with that. Okay. So then today we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to cover the book. Okay. We are going to cover grammar and we are going to try to cover prepositions. Some of you asked me about prepositions last week. So today I'm going to try to cover some information about it. Not all of it, but some information about prepositions. Okay. We have the practice time. We have a speaking. We have the quiz. Okay, so please open your class. Okay, open your class. And yes, I know, Kevin. Okay, it's raining. Okay, sé que muchos van a tener problemas con la conexión. Okay, but thank you. All right, thank you for being here. Then let's see, we are going to start with the warm up. And as a warm up, today we have vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary. And we have basic idioms, basic idioms. Ronald, can you please help me reading the three of them? Okay. Uh, never too late. Better late than never. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Break a leg. Mm -hmm. Never give up. No pain, no gain. Thank you. Okay, so, okay, Marlon. Then basic idioms. What is an idiom, guy? Um, an idiom is going to be a saying. Idioms are dichos, okay? So idioms are sayings. So for example, better late than never means más vale tarde que nunca. Better late than never, okay? Más vale tarde que nunca. Break a leg. Break a leg is like saying good luck. Break a leg, es decir, buena suerte. Okay? So, si alguien le dice, break a leg, es buena suerte. Okay? That is the meaning, buena suerte. Okay? So, son expresiones idiomáticas. Okay? Idioms. 
Then if someone says no pain, no gain. It's like saying sin esfuerzo no hay resultado. Okay, no pain, no gain. Never give up. Nunca hay que rendirse. Never give up. Okay, so no pain, no gain. Sin esfuerzo no hay resultado. Okay, no pain, no gain. Then, let's see. Better late than never. Break a leg. No pain, no gain. Okay. Let's move, guys. So today we are going to start with prepositions. Okay. And we are going to cover prepositions of place. Let me ask you something. What do you remember about prepositions of place? What do you remember about that topic? What do you remember? Nothing. Add, in, on. Add, in, and on. Very good. So those are the three prepositions that we have, right? Add, in, and on. When do we use at? Okay, we use at for? A, uh -huh. a point. A point. For a point, okay, for a specific point. Un lugar específico, okay, at. Then in for an enclosed space. That means un lugar que tiene cuatro paredes. Yeah, un lugar cerrado. For an enclosed space. And we use on for a surface. What is surface? Superficie. Okay. On. On for a surface. On sobre. On significa sobre. Okay. So we use at for point and we have some general expressions that we can use. Yeah. General expressions with at. Okay. So at the corner, at the bus stop, at the door at the top of the page, at the end of the road, at the entrance, at the crossroads, and at the front desk. Those are expressions that we use with at. Esas son expresiones que se utilizan siempre con at. Son expresiones. So that means que usted se las tiene que aprender de memoria. Yes. Okay. At the corner, in la esquina. At the bus stop, in la parada de buses. At the door, in la puerta. Para decir, hay alguien en la puerta, vamos a decir, somebody is at the door. Alguien está en la puerta. Somebody is at, at the door. Yeah. Then we also have at the top of the page. At the top of the page. At the top, Alicio, at the top. At the top of the page. Then we also have at the end of the road. The road, right? El camino, at the end. Al final del camino, at the end, at the end of the road. At the entrance. What is the entrance? What is the entrance, guys? Entrada. Entrada. Very good. So at the entrance, en la entrada. At the entrance. Then we also have at the crossroads. At the crossroads. What is the meaning of crossroads? What is it? Línea de caminar? No, not exactly, Alexandra. At the crossroads, en el cruce de caminos. All right, the okay, crossroads, yes, uh, son esas calles que tienen como bastantes así, right, yeah, como la cruz calle. Como cruz calle. Yes, correct. At the front desk, what is the front desk? La recepción. At the front desk. En la recepción, at the front desk. Then we also have enclosed space, lugares cerrados, enclosed space, yeah? So in the garden, 
in London, in this case, in London is a city. We use in for cities, countries. In London, in France, in a box, in my pocket. What is pocket? Su bolsillo. In my pocket. In my wallet. In my wallet. Billetera. In mi billetera. In my wallet. In a building. What is a building? A building is? Edificio. Edificio. Yes. In a car. Okay. In a car. And then we have on. On. Remember, on means sobre. Yeah. So on the wall. Sobre la pared. We in Spanish decimos. La foto está en la pared, pero en realidad no está en la pared. Está sobre la pared. Yeah? So the picture is on the wall. Está sobre porque no está dentro de la pared. ¿Ya? Está sobre la pared. So on the wall. Then we have on the ceiling. On the ceiling. The ceiling es el techo, ¿ok? El techo. On the ceiling, yes. On the door. Teacher and what is the difference between at the door and on the door? What is the difference? At the door, on the door? What do you think? Ah, en en lugar específico. Okay. And on the door? Give me an example. An example, maybe? The keys, the keys are on the door. Okay. The keys are on the door. Okay. Yes. So on the door means sobre la puerta. Lo que está sobre la puerta. Sobre. And at the door es en la puerta. Un lugar específico que les mencionaba anteriormente. Alguien está en la puerta. Somebody is at the door. Okay. And we can say um, the keys, las llaves, the keys are on the door, están sobre la puerta. Yes, sometimes you hand them. Yeah, las cuelga ahí, right? Yes. Okay, then on the cover, on the cover, sobre la portada, cover, portada. On the floor, on the floor, en el suelo, sobre el suelo. Okay, on the floor. On the carpet, what is the meaning of carpet? What is a carpet? Alfombra. Alfombra. Okay, for example, el perro está sobre la alfombra. The dog, the dog is on the carpet. Está sobre la alfombra. The dog, the cat is on the carpet on the menu, en el menú, ya, yeah? en el menú, on a page, en una página, on a page, ya, yeah? so those are common expressions, guys, common expressions, then we also have some examples, ya, yeah? we have some examples just for you to have an idea, Rosibel, help us reading from one to three, Alexandra, from four to six, and Carlos Amaya from 7 to 10. Okay. Yvette is at the bus stop. Yes. The cafeteria is at the end on the street. Mm -hmm. Irving is at the door. Okay. Very good. Marco lives in London, mm -hmm. Irma works in France. Yes. The picture is on the wall. Very good, yes. Carlos. My cat is on the carpet. Yes. Brian is in a car. Mm -hmm. Jupiter is in the solar system. My ID is in my wallet. Very good, excellent, okay. So, as you can see, we have the preposition right here. At the bus stop, 
at the end of the street, at the door, in London, in France, on the wall, on the carpet, in a car, in the solar system, right? In my wallet. Yeah. So we have prepositions of place. Yeah, prepositions of place, the lugar, the lugar, okay? Those are the common ones, son las comunes, at, in, and on, at, in, and on, yeah? But we also have prepositions of place that are different, tenemos las que son distintas. Okay, pero siempre son preposiciones de lugar, always, siempre. Okay, so we have in, okay, on, under. What is the meaning of under? What is under? Debajo. Debajo, yeah. Under, under, okay, under. Fíjese bien, debajo, under. But as you can see right here, Okay, fíjese bien, so the box is this one, the cat is this one, so the cat is under the box. Pero si se fija, el gatito está, le está tocando la caja, right? Lo toca. Yeah, so the cat is under the box. So el gato está abajo o debajo de la caja. In front of, right? In front of. Yeah, in front of. Then we also have behind. Behind is atrás. Yeah, behind. Behind, atrás. Yeah. Next to, next to, a la par de, next to. Yeah. We also have above. And what is the meaning of above? Above means. Sobre. Sobre. But teacher, what, what is the difference? Aha, uh -huh. yes. So what is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de on si on es sobre también? Y above es sobre. That on, mira el gatito, toca, ve. Toca la caja. Encima. Encima. Y above este es como encima, right? No está sobre porque no le está tocando. Está encima de. Hay espacio. Yeah. Yeah. That is the difference, okay? Now, below is también abajo. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia de under? Si también under es abajo. Que no lo toca. Que no lo toca, yeah? It doesn't touch. Fíjese bien, no lo toca, yeah? Below, yeah? We also have between. So we have the cat and we have Two boxes. So the cat is between the two boxes in medio de. On the left, a la izquierda. The cat is on the left. El gato está a la izquierda. On the left. On the left. Opposite. Opuesto a. Opuesto a. Yeah. And on the right, the cat is on the right, a la derecha, yeah? On the left, on the right, okay? Then we also have uh, some exercises right now. I don't know if you have any question about this. Questions about this. No question. No questions. Eh, Amanda, tell us what is behind you. One thing that is behind you, one, right now. Behind me is my uh, window. Your window. And the sofa. And the sofa. And the... Um, Exercising mm -hmm. machine. No. My, my, I don't my, my is <laughs> respaldar, no sé cómo se dice. Okay, maybe your, your back seat, right? 
Okay. Chair. Your chair. Okay. Your and chair. Corn times. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Let me see. Rosibel, what do you have behind you? Uh, behind. Behind me is. Behind me is um, the world. The wall. Very the wall. good. Yes. And, and bedroom. In your bathroom. Excellent. What about you? Luis Giovanni, what do you have next to you? Next. Uh, behind is... Oh, next to me? Next, next to me. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Cómo se dice cama? <laughs> bed. Bed. Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. Next to you is your bed. Excellent. Um... Ronald, what do you have above you? Uh, above. Uh, above me is. Above me is uh, el techo. Uh -huh. How do you say techo, guys? Ceiling. Ceiling. The ceiling. Very good, Alexandra. Yes, the ceiling. Uh -huh. The ceiling. Yes, excellent. And what about you, Joel? What do you have in front of you? Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Uh, in front of me is door. Is the door okay? The very door. good, excellent. And you, Andrea Lisbeth, what do you have in front of you? Uh, I have, I have from in front of me is in front to of me, me is, is a computer. The computer, yeah, the computer. Very good. Okay. Um. All right, guys. Do you have any question? Not mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. No, okay. I have a question. Yes, tell me, Joel. Uh, what's the difference between the next two on the right? Oh, no difference. There is no difference. I mean, next two, it could be on the right or on the left. Okay, on the right or on the left. Next to could be both. Puede ser ambos lados. You decide, okay? En ese caso usted decide. Si quiere ser específico, va a decir on the right or on the left, right? Porque el next to puede ser o lado izquierdo o lado derecho, ¿verdad? A la par de usted, pero de qué lado, right? Oh, on the right or on the left. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Then let's see, guys. Number one, the cat. Uh -huh. Is under under the box, okay. Under. The bird is number two between between the boxes. Number three, the cat is on in on in the box. In, in the box, in. okay. In. Number three, no four. The cat is. Behind, behind. behind the box. Number five, the bird is on. on the box. And the last one, the cat is in, in front of. In front of. Very good. In front of. Let's see. That is correct. You see? Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Questions? Questions or no questions? Not no questions? questions? Okay. No now no let's questions. move. Guys. No questions. Very good. Now let's move and let's start, guys, with the topic for today. Okay. So the topic for today is a reinforcement. Okay. Es un uh, refuerzo de albers of frequency. Yeah. So let me see. Amanda, help us reading, please. All of these, Amanda. Oh. Um, I always have breakfast at 8 a.m. I usually take a shower at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I normally go to work at 8 a.m. Often each 
I often eat chicken at lunch. I sometimes buy lunch at work. I occasionally go to the gym. I seldom go to the beach. I hardly ever sleep early. I never eat fish. Very good, thank you. Okay, guys, as you remember, we have address of frequency. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, and never. Yeah? So we have adverbs of frequency. So today, we are going to learn how to use them in the position in a sentence. Okay? So you don't forget. Okay. So, guys, we have, in this case, two structures that we are going to cover. The first one is with the verb to be. Yeah? So, as you remember, the verb to be is am, um, are, and is. Yeah? So, we have I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, and it is. Okay? Okay? We have positive sentence, negative sentence, and question. Adverbs of frequency, yeah? So with the positive sentence, we have subject, verb to be, plus, plus, ese signo se dice plus, adverb of frequency, plus complement. And we have, I am always happy. Okay, we cannot say, I always am happy. No, that is incorrect. La estructura es así. I am always happy. El adverbio de frecuencia va después del verbo to be. Okay. With the negative, we have subject, verb to be in negative, of course, adverb of frequency and the complement. So we have, I am not always happy. Yeah? The adverb of frequency goes after the verb to be negative. Okay? And the question, who can give me the question? Who can give me the question? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Am I always happy? Very good. So, am I always happy? Like this, am I always happy? Verb to be, verb to be, subject, I, adverb of frequency, always, and complement, happy. And the question mark. Yes? Questions. Doubts? Y sería con alguna pregunta con we are en la ah, última yes. como de pregunta. Yes, we can we can say for example are we always sería lo contrario siempre. Happy? Yes, so le modifica uh, ya no sería we are sino que are we. Correct. Ok. Así. Thank you, teacher. Yes, así, correcto, así. Mm -hmm. Or is he always happy? Is he always happy? Is she always happy? Are you always happy? Are they always happy? Etc. right? Todos los pronombres que podamos. Okay. Very good. Now, this is when it comes to the verb to be, guys. This is the verb to be. Verb to be. Es el verbo to be. Okay. Now, we also have, we also have simple present. Okay. Let me go ahead and, and I'm going to move. Okay. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. So now we also have simple present tense. Okay. And with the simple present tense, we also have, this is just for you to uh, recall, right? 
So we have I, you, we, they, and we use do, do not, or don't. We have he, she, and it, and we use does, does not, or doesn't, the contractions, okay? So we have the subject, the advert of frequency, the verb, and the complement. And we have, I always drink coffee in the afternoon. I always, yeah? We have negative. Subject plus auxiliary verb. Cuando dice verbo auxiliar se refiere a negativo, ¿verdad? Que es do not or doesn't, yeah? So auxiliary verb, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. So we have, I don't always buy lunch at work. Subject, I. Auxiliary verb, don't. Adverb of frequency, always. Verb, buy, que es comprar. Complement, lunch at work. And with the questions, we start with the auxiliary verb. Then we move to the subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. And we say, do I always buy lunch at work? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Depende de si es sí o no. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do I always buy lunch at work? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. Let me ask uh, Amanda, do you always buy lunch at work? I I I never buy lunch in my work. Okay, okay. And you Andrea, do you always buy lunch at work? I usually uh, buy Lunch. lunch at work, okay. And you, Ronald? Uh, I never uh, buy a lunch. Never. And what about you, Luis Giovanni? Do you always buy lunch at work? Yes, I do. I buy lunch at work. Excellent. And what about you, Joel? Do you always buy lunch at work? Mm. Uh, I occasionally. 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 I occasionally. I occasionally. 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 Okay, occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah, like that, okay? Ese shh, tiene que ser relajado. Occasionally, okay? Very good. Yes, excellent. All right, guys, let's continue. Questions? No questions, let's move, all right? Let's move. So we have now teamwork, okay, here. All right, so what we need to do is that we are going to order. Vamos a ordenarlas, okay? So let's see, number one. I never. I am. Ah, I am. <laughs> I am. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I am never. Never late for work. Late for work. Excellent. Okay. I am never. Verb to be. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Number two. My mom. My mom is, is usually, usually, is usually, is usually busy. Busy. Okay. Busy. busy. Excellent. My mom is usually busy. Very good. Number three. Kate, Kate often study English. Okay, now Kate often studies, studies, pronunciation, studies English. Okay, excellent. Karen often studies English. Number four. My dad sometimes, sometimes is uh, angry. My dad sometimes is angry. Are you sure? 
my dad is angry. No, my dad is my something dad angry. Is, uh -huh. Excellent. So, my dad, verb to be. <laughs> yes, <laughs> verb to be, okay. So, my dad is sometimes angry, okay? Brave to be, very good, okay? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number five. My grandma. My grandma. My grandma is nice. Always nice. It's always nice. Very good. Excellent, okay? My grandma is always nice. What about number six? He never trusts nobody. He never trusts anybody. Anybody. Okay. Dice que él nunca le cree o confía en nadie. Mire, él nunca confía en nadie. He never trusts anybody. Okay, number seven. I rarely, I rarely watch TV series. Okay, very good. So, I rarely, rarely, rarely. rarely. Okay. watch TV series. Serious. Okay. Serious. Yes, yeah, serious. Yeah. Serious. I rarely, rarely. Mm -hmm. Very good. Questions? Is it clear, guys? Is it clear or do you have questions? Do you have doubts? No questions, no doubts. Okay, let's No move. question, teacher. Okay, very good. So now let's move, guys. Let's move. Okay, so now we have a reading. And let's choose the correct answer. Okay, so let's see, guys. This is Tina. She is a clown chef. What is the correct? She is what? Yeah. She is a chef, okay? She works or doesn't work in a restaurant? She doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't work? She works. She works. She works in a restaurant. Okay. In a restaurant. She works in a restaurant because she is a chef. Excellent, okay? She is a chef, so she works in a restaurant, okay? She works or doesn't work in a circus? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Excellent. What about this one? She wears or doesn't wear a red nose? Doesn't she wear. Doesn't wear. Doesn't wear, right? A red nose because she is not a clown. She is a chef. And the last one, she wears or doesn't uh, work a white hat? She wears, she wears a white she hat. She wears. Yes, okay. She wears a white hat. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Now let's move. Okay. We have more readings right here. Okay. Let's complete with the words in the box. Okay. So we have Jill is a fly attendant. Okay. It's a Fly attendant. Okay, let me go ahead and write. Okay, flight attendant. Okay, yes, flight attendant. She she works in the space. She works. She doesn't work. She doesn't. Okay, she doesn't work in the space. Okay, mm -hmm. she doesn't work. Okay, perfect. She will. Uh -huh. She likes on land. She likes on land. No. What does mean land? Land, tierra. Um. She works. She works. Okay, let's continue. She doesn't work. She doesn't work on land. Okay, she doesn't work on land. Okay, she doesn't work on land. Okay, next. She 
She likes to have plane. She works. Okay, she works on a plane. Okay, she works on a plane. And then she wears. Wears. Okay, she wears. Okay, let's see. She wears a uniform. Okay. She she likes wears. She wears a helmet. Yes, she wears or doesn't wear helmet. Doesn't is, wear. Yes, doesn't, doesn't wear. Right, doesn't un casco. Wear. Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, she wears like a hat. Okay, no a helmet. Okay, so wear. Okay, she doesn't wear. No. Okay, and the last one, she likes. She likes. Traveling. He likes traveling. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I need one volunteer. One volunteer to read the paragraph. Me? Okay. Go, Carlos. Julie's a flight attendant. She doesn't work in the space. She doesn't work on land. She works on a plane. She wears a uniform. She doesn't wear a helmet. Mm -hmm. She likes traveling. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. So you see, so simple. Everything is in the simple present tense. Okay? Simple present tense. Very good. Let's move. All right. So then it's your turn. Okay? Ahora es su turno. In pairs, in parejas. Okay? In pairs. You are going to write about Mark. Yeah? You are going to write about Mark. Va a escribir acerca de Mark. Que va a ser lo mismo que hicimos aquí con Jill. Pero esta vez usted va a crearlo de cero. Va a hablar de Mark. So, Mark is a doctor. Oh. <laughs> okay, yes. And you continue. If you don't want to talk about a doctor, si no quiere poner que es un doctor, póngale otra, otra profesión. Another profession. Okay? Another one. Yeah? You need to create uh, five sentences about Mark. Five sentences about Mark. Okay? Do you have questions? No? Okay. So let's go then to breakout rooms. Okay? Open the class. Open the class, guys. Open the class. Um, okay, so I think that Alexandra, you are you are uh, new this week, right? Creo que Alexandra no tiene el, la hoja de trabajo. Are you there? Mm. Alexandra? No. Teacher, yes. no mmm, mandó el link para entrar a todo, ¿verdad? Sí. 
pero es que, o sea, tiene que entrar uno allí, no se puede mandar la hojita. ¿Cómo? Um, ¿solo, ¿Solo la hojita en la que se va a trabajar? No. Ah, no, en ese caso eh, es uh, solo, o sea, se le manda todo. Um, uy, espera, ok. En este, en este, en ese link, no, Alexandra, no le escuchamos. Eh, en ese link que le mandé está la clase nada más, en ese link, en el que le acabo de mandar. En el último. Ajá. Va. No le escucho, dice Alexandra. Marlon, voy a traer a Marlon para que esté conmigo. Sí, bah. ok. Creo que aquí está Marlon. Marlon, are you still driving? Todavía va manejando. Hello, teacher. Hi, are you sí, still sí. driving? To todavía voy manejando, teacher. Lo siento. Ok, don't worry, don't worry. Vaya, espérame, eh, Rocío. Eh, la, quiero ver, voy a traer a, a Ronald entonces. Vaya. Okay. Hi. Yes, now yes, we can hear you. Hi. Okay. Hi, Ronald. Ok, thank you. Nos movieron. Yes, okay. okay. I, I, I'm sorry because Rosibel was alone, but now Alexandra is here and you as well. Okay, so Rosibel. Now Rosibel is gone. Ahora Rosibel se me fue. Okay. No, no, no. Aquí estoy. Ah, vale. Okay, so Rosibel, aquí está Ronald y también Alexandra, okay? Bye, bye, bye. Okay, bye. Let me go with Jacqueline. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Hello. Do you have any question? Um, un poquito trabadito nada más, pero estamos descifrando con Jacqueline. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Thank you. Okay, perfect. If you have questions, let me know, okay? Me dice si me pregunta. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Let me go with. Carlos. Hello guys, do you have any question? Hi, no, but are you alone? She's free. No. No. Okay. Está atrás se trabó por el internet. Es que el internet está mal. Is it raining right there, Carlos? No está. No. Here in San Salvador, yes, it is raining. It was raining. Um, Two hours ago. Okay. Right now, no. No. Okay. Is yeah. it hot right there? Is it hot? Yeah, very hot. Okay. Yeah. But but you are used to, right? Ah. Uh, so so. So no. much. Yeah. So so. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Eunice. Excuse me, teacher. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Eh, eh, ah, solo logramos hacer dos. Mark is a doctor. He works at hospital de la mujer. He wears glasses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí está Carlos que hizo una también. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He is not a male nerve. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, para decir como la bata, como sería. Uh, could be the uniform, but I don't know. Pero la bata de los doctores, right? ¿Cómo se llama? Uh -huh. bata. 
Mm, let's see. Es un avatar. It's like a doctor coat. She wear a white doctor coat, uh -huh. right? Yes, correct. Okay. Doctor coat. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Give me one minute, okay? I'm going to call you back to the main session. Okay. Yes, give me one minute. Let me see, Amanda. Mark is a veterinary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mark doesn't work in the office. He likes all animals. Mark has many customers. He is doesn't too busy for attend an emergency. Okay. Esa es la, la forma correcta, verdad? He is. Uh -huh. He doesn't. Is. Oh no. no. He is doesn't. Oh no. He isn't. Sí, es cierto. Ya estoy más dormida yo que a saber. <laughs> Ahí el 12, no sé por qué lo estoy usando. He isn't too busy for a ten emergency. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Very good. Thank you. Okay. He isn't. Uh -huh. okay. He isn't. Okay. Let's go to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Okay, guys, let me see. Okay, uh, Ronald, ready? Oh, Ronald, we cannot hear you, yes. Okay. Okay, tell us about Mark. What do you have about Mark, Ronald? Okay, Mark is, is a doctor. Okay. Uh, Mar uh, doesn't work in a factory. Okay, doesn't work in a factory, okay. Doesn't work in a factory. Uh, Mark, uh, uh, she, eh, pardon. He? <laughs> she, she works at uh, the hospital. Okay, he works at the hospital, okay. Uh, she doesn't wear a suit. She da he doesn't. He doesn't wear a suit. He okay. doesn't. Very good. Yes. He doesn't, he doesn't wear. It. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So let me see. Um, Carlos Amaya. Hi. Yes. Tell us about Mark. Okay. He Mark. Uh, wears a glasses. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he <laughs> he wears a white doctor coat. Yes, very good. Um, he is not a Melner. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, Eunice, help me. <laughs> he, he doesn't he work. work. I'm sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. Eunice, go. Yes, uh, he works at Hospital de la Mujer. Okay, okay. Your hair is brown. His, his hair. His hair is brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Very good, Maribel. 
What do you have about Mark? Mm. Vaya, yo escribí, Richard is a doctor. Okay. He don't go in the with animal. Oh, he we does. Wears, uh -huh. Yes. He wears a robe. He know you see a robe. He the car right. Okay, so now he doesn't in lugar de he don't, doesn't doesn't okay doesn't okay. okay y en lugar de not le va a poner doesn't doesn't okay yes. thank you all right all right guys so right now I'm going to take the attendance before continuing attendance attendance okay say present okay say your name say present Amanda Yesenia. Amanda Yesenia. Oh. Present. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, okay. Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexander. Brian, okay. Carlos Alberto Vega. Carlos Alberto, okay. Dina Maribel Rivas. Present. Thank you. Enrique Arturo. Enrique. Okay. Janet Amaya. Okay. Jacqueline Marlene. Present. Thank you. Joel Alberto Barrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Jovel. Here. Thank you. Kevin Adiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Luis um, Ernesto. Luis Ernesto. Mirna Yesenia. Mirna Yesenia. Okay. Noemi Claribel. Present Miss. Thank you. Uh, Eunice Alvarez. Oscar Giovanni. Giovanni. Yes, Eunice. Oscar Giovanni. Ronald Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Jancy Rendero. Okay. Eh, Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. Present. Okay, thank you. And Marlon Orlando Calles. Marlon? Present, present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. All right, let's continue. I need one volunteer. I need one volunteer? Me? Okay, yes. Thank you, Andrea. Okay. Don't you Andrea? say my, my name, teacher? Yes, I did. I did, Oscar. Oh, okay. Person. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Um, Andrea, help us reading the first paragraph. Andrea nos ayuda de my names hasta in the morning. And okay. um, Rosibel, Rosibel continúa con el segundo párrafo de, de I hasta until 2 p.m. Who else? Who else wants to read? Me, teacher. Amanda. Okay, Amanda, and you continue desde I take hasta go to a cafe. And the last one, um, Maribel. Maribel, usted continúa desde I hasta in bed. Okay, go, please. My name, my name is Elizabeth, but ever, but ever, yeah, cause me bit. I, I am a freelance English French translator. 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 My dice are busy, but I love my house. I get up at about 5 a.m. on weekdays. 
I have a hey, Hailey breakfast, fruit, cereal, and yogurt. I turn on my laptop and start work at five. Five. Ready? Five p.m. I try. ¿Cómo me dijo que se decía? Translate. Translate legal documents for a big company in Paris. I have a cup. And I have a cup of coffee when I work in the morning. Thank you. Okay. I stop for lunch at noon, but I don't cook. I have a salad of a chicken sandwich and then and then I go back to work until 2 p.m. Okay, thank you. Uh, I take a short nap and then go jogging in the park in the afternoon. I sometimes meet friends there and we do yoga or go to a cafe. Perfect. Maribel. I have dinner with Harry in the evening mm -hmm. because I am sorry, Kiaire, I finally mm -hmm. go to be at ten PM and maybe read or watch TV in bed. In bed. Thank you. Okay, guys, first of all, we are going to focus on pronunciation, okay? First of all. So let's see. Repeat after me and say everyone. 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 Yes. Now say busy. 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 Ocupado, okay? Busy. Yeah? Now say weekdays. Weekday. 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 Quick day. Healthy. 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 Fruit. Fruit. Joggered. Joggered. Joggery. Joggered. Joggery. Con entonación de inglés. Joggered. Joggered. No joggered. Joggered. Jogurts. Yes. Now, my. 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 Now say A-M. 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 Legal. 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 Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. While. While. While means mientras. While. While. So it says, I have a cup of coffee while I work in the morning. Dice, me tomo una taza de café mientras yo trabajo en la mañana. Okay? okay. Now say until. Un until. 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 Hasta, hasta las 2 p.m. Until 2 p.m. Until 2 p.m. Yes, now say quiet. Quiet. Yes, now say evening. Evening. Usually. 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 Tired. 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 Finally. Tired. Finally. Finally. Bed. 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 Okay. Very good. So now, what does Elizabeth do, guys? She learns English, French. Okay. Yes. She is a she... freelance English, French translator. 
Yes. She is a freelance English French translator. Very good. Okay. Here. Freelance English French translator. What time does she get up during the week? She gets up at about 5 a.m. Excellent. Yes. She gets up. Very good. Third person. A letter S. Gets up. At about 5 a.m. on weekdays. What does she have for breakfast? She has a healthy yeah. breakfast. Fruit, cereals, and yogurt. Excellent. Okay. And when does she take a break from work? When? At 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Okay, in the afternoon, All right? In the afternoon. How does she exercise? How? How does she exercise? How? She goes to jogging. Yes, excellent. She goes to yeah, uh -huh. to the park, right? Right here. She goes jogging in the park. In the Excellent. park. Yes. And why does she eat dinner early? Why? Habrá pasado el... Why does she eat dinner no, early? No, no, no. Because, because she's usually tired. Tired. Yes, very good. And what does she do in bed at night? Read or watch TV. Watch TV. Read or watch TV. Or right. watches TV. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, she reads or watches TV in bed. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's move. Now, let's focus on the book. All right, before we take the quiz, before we take the exam. So let's move to the book. All right, I need two volunteers. One is going to be John and the other one is going to be Anne. Me? Mm, me? Okay, me. so uh, me Luis Giovanni, right? Luis Giovanni and, and Rosibel. Okay, Luis Giovanni, you are John and Rosibel Anne with intonation, okay. Okay. okay? Okay. Vamos a aprender. Yes. All right. How, Go. Okay. How often do you check your mail? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your claim? I often I... call them once a week on Monday, but I usually I can then on Friday to check their um, order. Order? Do you call clients? Yes, I always call, call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them at the time. You are right. Okay, very good. All right, guys, first of all, let's focus on pronunciation. Okay, first of all. Okay. Now, repeat after me and say clients. 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 Okay, clients. now call. 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 Mm. Now say all. 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 Yes. Okay. So how often, how often do you check your email, guys? This is, this is a real question for you. How often do you check your email at work? How often? You sometimes. Okay, sometimes, okay. What about you, Kevin? How often do you check your email? Uh, I check the email uh, today. 
two hours. Oh, I check my email every two hours. Every, every two hours. Okay, very good. All right. And how often do you attend attend meetings, guys? Asistir a reuniones. How often? Once a week. Once a week, Amanda. What about you, Andrea? How often? How often do you, att do you attend meetings? Uh, How often? Uh, Never, usually, sometimes, every day. Eh, pero es mi pregunta a mí o de lo que está en la conversación. No, a usted. How often do you attend? Do you? Eh, usually. I usually. Usually. Okay. Very good. Usually. Okay. Now let's see. How often does Anne does Anne check her email according to the conversation, guys? How often? Every two Every hours. Two hours. Every two hours. Very good. So now, why is it important to get email why? every day? Why? Why is it important to get email every day, guys? Why? 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 Check their order. To check the orders. Okay, very good. What else? Why? Why is it important? Porque mm. es importante verificar el email. To have contact. I believe to, important. To have contacts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's move. Okay, let's move and let's talk about this one. Okay. So remember, okay, the how often, cuando alguien les pregunta how often, les pregunta qué tan a menudo, con qué frecuencia, yeah? So en este caso que yo estaba preguntando how often do you check your email at work, con qué frecuencia usted verifica su correo electrónico en el trabajo. How often do you attend meetings, con qué frecuencia usted asiste a reuniones, okay? So how often, all right, how often and how to use frequency adverbs? Well, as we already covered at, at the very beginning, we say we have always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely, and never. Rarely, rarely. Yeah, hardly ever, rarely. Okay, eh, Luis, help us reading the examples, todos los ejemplos. Luis Giovanni, yes. Okay, I always get up at five o'clock. Yes. He usually drives to work. Mm -hmm. She normally checks her email. Mm -hmm. I often have breakfast at work. Mm -hmm. She, to, she to sometimes use the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. We seldom take calls at work. Mm -hmm. He rarely has conference. I mm -hmm. never get late to work. Okay, repeat after me, Luis, and say uses. Uses. Uses, okay? Uses, okay. Hair, hair. Hair. Yes, hair. Okay, guys. Uh, any question about vocabulary? As you can see, the same thing. Okay, we have the sentences, we have subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. Okay, todo así en lo mismo. Yeah. Questions? No questions? No questions. Okay, guys, I need you to tell me something that you always do at work. Tell me something that you do always. Uh -huh. At work. I always attend the clients. 
the clients, okay? Tell me something that you do often. I often attend clients. Excellent. Sometimes, sometimes, something that you sometimes do. Sometimes I do invoices. Sometimes I sometimes do invoices. Okay. And hardly ever. Hardly ever. I hardly ever take a break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. So that means that you you are really busy at work, Amanda. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. And what about never? Something that you never do at work. I never sleep at work. <laughs> okay. I never sleep at work. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Yes, excellent, very good, okay? All right, guys. So now, well, this is going to be after the quiz, okay? Eso va a ser después del quiz, vaya. Now, yes, let's go to the quiz, okay? Let's go to the quiz. Vámonos al examen. Um, okay, so the, the link is this one. Ese es el link. El passcode is this one. Aquí es el paso. Okay. Yes, Rosibel. No, no, teacher, nada. Error de dedo. <laughs> okay. No worry. Okay, guys. Cuando ya lo termine, me dice. Okay. It's about prepositions and the simple present. De las preposiciones y el presente simple, guys. Done. Thank you, Carlos. Done, teacher. Thank you, Oscar.
Eh, yes, Oscar. Sí, teacher. Este, si nos pudiera render actualizada la, la tabla de, de Excel donde podemos encontrar la, a, lo que la son las sí, la clases, por favor. Eso es de mucha ayuda, Félix. Eh, yes, ok, you have, ok, well, there you go, ahí está en el chat. Ok. Yes. Um, Carlos, Alberto, we are taking this quiz. Estamos tomando el, el quiz. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Y el código es English 2022. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Hola. Hello, good evening, Amanda. No, soy Ives saliendo del trabajo. Ah, oh, ok. Uh, yes, Janet. Ok. Ok. Um, estamos tomando el quiz. Um, ah, ok. Ah, ahí se lo mandé al chat. Ok, gracias. Okay, guys, so here is what you are going to do, okay? So what you are going to do, guys, is that you are going to create this chart. Va, eh, va a crear un cuadrito, okay? You are going to create a chart. Va a crear un cuadrito, guys, con cinco actividades que usted hace en la semana, en su trabajo, ¿sí? Y le va a poner un chequecito. ¿Qué días lo hace? Por ejemplo, yo aquí les he dado ejemplos. Si quieren utilizar este o algunas actividades de las que están acá, háganlo así. Y si le quiere agregar otras que usted hace, porque no sé en su trabajo qué es lo que usted hace. Por eso es la actividad, porque queremos saber qué es lo que usted hace. Entonces le pone el chequecito. Y le toma una foto y lo va a mandar al grupo también de chat, de WhatsApp. So you have, exactamente tienen para terminar ese cuadrito, six minutes, okay? Six to seven minutes. So hurry up, please, okay? All right. En su cuaderno, on your notebook or in your computer, okay? Si usted lo tiene abierto en su computadora, un Excel, abre un Excel y ahí lo hace, okay? En su computadora o en su cuaderno está bien, okay? Como usted prefiera, okay? And... <laughs> okay, guys, did you finish? Yes. A mí me faltaba una. A usted le faltaba. Creo que me faltaba una, una o dos. Andrea, Andrea, espera, los que ya terminaron. There is some.
Hi. Okay, guys. Hi. So, okay. you are going to create a chart. Fíjese bien, va a crear un cuadrito como este. Okay. Pero va a ser de lo que usted hace en su trabajo. So, tiene que ser Cinco actividades que usted hace en su trabajo y le va a poner un chequecito, así como lo ve aquí. Lo va a hacer en su cuaderno o en la computadora, en un Excel, como usted prefiera. Y ya lo va a presentar. Tiene cinco minutos para hacerlo. Va a poner cinco actividades que hace y le va a poner un chequecito a los días que la hace. ¿Sí? Okay. Le va a tomar una foto y la va a mandar también al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. Ah, ok. All right. De acuerdo. Ok, excelente. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Never. Guys, why? Here is what you are going to do. So you are going to create a chart like this one, and you are going to create it with five activities that you do at work, right? So this is just an example that I have added. So you need to create one like this. You are going to add Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and you are going to add five activities that you do during those days and you are going to add a check. This should be done on your notebook or uh, uh, on your computer in Excel, okay? And you are going to take a picture and you are going to send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? Yeah? Okay, but if I don't do nothing about this? No, you are going to create yours. I mean, those are just an example, right? This is an example. Oh, okay. Tiene que crear las suyas. My work is now with current. Uh, but, but in this case, at least five activities. ¿Qué usted hace? Cinco actividades. For example. Eh, si, hago, si veo los emails y envío, mm -hmm. pero no es que yo tenga un tiempo para hacerlo, sino que es uno a demanda y dos depende del tiempo que tenga o de qué actividades sean prioritarias. Ok, Jacqueline. But in this case, mmm, digamos que hay actividades que se hacen los días lunes, martes. No, miércoles. no tengo, yo voy haciendo mi programa dependiendo porque soy contador. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces no todos los lunes recibo pago de X cosas, sino que trabajo bajo calendarios uh -huh. que son de IATA y que depende de cuándo okay. llegan a banco y cuándo se aplica. Entonces hay muchos correos que tengo que ir revisando en el momento y no en un tiempo determinado. Pues okay. entonces, no sé cómo definir. Okay. Porque en realidad yo voy haciendo mi trabajo diario, pero no es que tenga como tengo que hacer X cosa mm -hmm. este día a tal hora, no tengo. Ok, so in this case, eh, no hace nada repetitivo ni los lunes ni los martes ningún día. Mm. Sí hago trabajos repetitivos, por ejemplo, revisar bancos, pero no tengo ni días ni horas para okay. hacerlo. Ok. Vale. En este caso, eh, tratemos de hacer al menos tres actividades que sean algo recurrentes, ok, para poder realizar la actividad. ¿Sí? Eh, si no tiene nada de su trabajo, al menos cosas que hace diariamente que usted pues sí hace, ¿verdad? Repetitivamente. Me tomo mi almuerzo. De 12 okay. a 1, todos los días. Bye. Entonces, con ahí, take a lunch. Ok. Mm. Pero puedo poner un tiempo como promedio o aproximado. Yes, uh, yes. I mean, es que no es necesario que le ponga el, el, la hora. Solo es el uh -huh. día. Aquí es la abreviación de Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So what you are going to do is that you are going to add a check. Le va a poner un check. O sea, todos los días, independientemente, no lo haga en un... Tiempo estipulado, correcto. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Continue. You have five minutes, okay, to complete this. 
Okay. Estoy medio. Okay, guys. Ready? You finish? Ready. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Look at this. So what you are going to do, guys, is that you are going to elaborate. You are going to create a chart. This is individually. Yeah. So you are going to create this chart with daily tasks, daily activities that you do at work. I have added some examples. Esos solo son ejemplos. Eso no es lo que usted hace. Esto es mi ejemplo. Okay. Usted puede poner okay. lo que usted hace. Okay. Puede quitarse. Okay. Lo que ve acá, si no hace nada de eso, lo quita y pone lo suyo. Now, then, what you are going to do is that you are going to uh, add a check. Le va a poner un chequecito. ¿Qué días hace? Send okay. email. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ok. Saturday. On, your notebook, on your notebook or on your computer in Excel. You are going to take a picture and you are going to send it to the WhatsApp group once you finish. Okay, so this one is individually. You have five minutes. Five, five tasks, teacher. Five. Only for five. for day. Uh, no, only five tasks. Pone cinco tasks. Así como es aquí y pone qué días lo hace. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Okay, guys. You have five minutes. Okay, please uh, continue and let me know if you have any question. This time. Okay, uh, girls, what you are going to do is that you are going to create a chart, un cuadrito como ese que está acá, yeah? And you are going to add your daily tasks. You need to add five daily tasks, five. And then you are going to add a check the days that you do. Le va a crear, le va a poner unos chequecitos a los días que hace esta actividad. Esto lo puede cambiar, ¿ok? You can change this. ¿Sí? Usted puede cambiarlo con sus actividades. Esto es individual, individually. You have five minutes. Tiene cinco minutos para terminarlo. Cuando lo termine, le tomo una foto y me lo manda al WhatsApp group, al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? So, okay. yes, please, five minutes. Let me see. Do you have any question? Tiene preguntas? No. Okay. Vamos a entrar al, 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 al enlace para hacerlo. Tiene que entrar a la clase. Okay. Sí, tiene que tener el PDF abierto de la clase. Si no, eh, aquí está. Mire, nada más tiene que ser un cuadrito y le pone los días de la semana y le pone el chequecito. ¿Ok? Porque eso lo va a hacer en su cuaderno. O okay. en la computadora. A ver. ¿Ok? Donde usted quiera hacerlo, pero donde pueda tomar una foto y me lo manda. Ok. Ajá, yo creo que sí. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, so what we are going to do right now is that you are going to create a chart. Va a crear un cuadrito. Miren. Va a crear este cuadrito. ¿Y qué va a hacer con este cuadrito? Le va a poner cinco actividades que usted hace durante la semana. En su cuaderno o en la computadora, donde usted le salga mejor. ¿Ok? Esto es individual. Le va a poner cinco actividades que usted hace en su trabajo y al mismo tiempo le va a poner los días de la semana abreviados, como está aquí, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Y le va a poner un chequecito qué días hace esa actividad. ¿Sí? Okay. Y cuando ya lo haya terminado, me lo va a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp, una fotografía. ¿Ok? Ok. No, yes. Serían diferentes a estas, entonces. Sí, serían diferentes porque eh, si hace esto, está bien. Copia, sí. pero si hace algo distinto, entonces pongámoslo en lo que usted hace. ¿Ok? Ok. All right. Ok. Very good. Ok, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, lo enviamos al, al 
WhatsApp. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Uh, well, let me see. Get over. Ahorita lo envío. Okay. Solo dijo que lo teníamos que chequear, ¿verdad? Yes, a check. A check. Ah, aquí al chat, aquí en este chat. No, en WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Ah, no, 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 Okay. I am Salmon's person. Very good. Okay, excellent. Let me see Oscar. Okay. Very good. Let me see Eunice. Oh, I know. Okay. Yes. Ok, now that you finished, ok, como ya terminamos yes. este, vamos a seguir con la presentación, ok, digamos, ok, en este momento vamos a seguir y vamos al conversation time, so what you are going to practice are those questions, miren, vamos a practicar el how often, ya, yeah? how often do you go to the cinema, and I have added, les he agregado los adverbios acá para que se puedan apoyar de eso, ok, Perfect. Okay. Yes. And then you continue with this one. Yeah, you continue with this one. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Bueno, entonces empezamos con la primera. Ok. Chao. Siempre. You finish, guys, or no jet? Terminando, lo estoy dicho ya. Termino. Very good, very good. Ok. You finish, guys, or no jet? Ya casi dicho. Ok, continue, continue. No jet. No jet, ok. Hay hecho como un grupo. Aquí está. Hola, teacher. Hello. Estamos en salas. Y aquí estamos como en salas. Yes. Estamos en salas ahorita. Okay. Sí. Okay. Did you finish? Well. Yes. Yes. yes I finish. Yeah, Janet, sure. I saw yours. Uh -huh. Yo, yo no estoy en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. No sé si la puedo mandar aquí en el chat o dónde se puedo enviar. ¿Y por qué no está en el grupo de WhatsApp? I don't know. <laughs> Es que, es que realmente yo este, este módulo soy oyente, pero de seguro por eso no me incluyeron. No, ¿cómo no? Teacher, me está mandando a otro grupo. Yes, a sala 5. Yes. Ok. Yes. Eh, ok. Marlon, ¿cómo, ¿cómo no va a estar en el grupo? Ok. Eh, va, pero mándelo aquí, Marlon. Pero fíjese que le voy a mandar el link del grupo porque de igual manera en algún momento también vamos a volver a hacer otra actividad y lo va a tener que mandar pues ok, súper vale, permítame, quiero ver el link es este mire este vale. es este ese es el link del, del chat. 
Ok, Maribel. Listo. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Let me see, Maribel. Um... Uh, lo único que Ajá. lo único que yo no hago es limpiar todos los días pero si sí lo hago dos veces a la semana okay. y copias que si sí lo hago bye ok very good ok Andrea thank you. You. ok thank you um, Carlos Alberto ya terminó yes lo mandó ya ya lo mandé ok Veamos, Carlos. Se le dio una estrellita. Es como no veo los nombres de quiénes son. Bye. Eh, ok, Carlos. Usted... Es uno de Excel. Ah, yes, ok. Ok. Very good. Ok. Um... And go there with Marlon. Hey guys, I just moved you, okay, to this room. So now what you are going to do is that you are going to move to the time to speak and we are going to start with the conversation questions, all right? And we are going to practice the how often. Yeah, I have added the adverbs of frequency right here. So you can, based on this, you have this support. For example, how often do you go to the cinema? Well, I sometimes go to the cinema. What about you, Marlon? Uh, I hardly ever go to the cinema. Go to the cinema. What about you, Carlos? Eh, I eh, often go to cinema. Go to the cinema, okay? To the cinema. Okay. Yes, to the cinema. Very good. And you continue with those, and then you move to this one, okay? Yes? Okay, very good. I start practicing, okay? I start practicing. I will call you in about five minutes, okay? Practice. Right now, practice. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now let's move guys and let's go to time to speak. Yeah, time to speak. So we are going to start with the conversation questions and you are going to answer those 10 questions, okay? But just speaking, do not write, just speaking. For example, how often do you go to the cinema, Amanda? Um, I... Sometimes go to the cinema. Excellent. What about you, Rosibel? How often do you go to the cinema? I never. I never go to the cinema. Excellent. And then, Andrea, what about you? I seldom ah. go to the cinema. Excellent. And you continue with the other ones, okay? Till you answer all of them. I'll give you around five minutes and then we are going to go back, okay, to the main room. But right now I want you to practice how often, adverbs of frequency, okay? Very okay. good. Okay, perfect. Okay, Carlos Amaya, how often do you go to the cinema? I usually... Um... Often. Oh. Okay. How often do you go to the cinema? Um, I don't know, once uh, in a month. Okay, very good. And what about you, Jacqueline? How often do you go to the cinema? I hardly ever go to the cinema. And how often do you visit a museum, Jacqueline? I visited the museum the month ago. Oh, you visited 
a museum a month ago. But in this case, yeah. if we talk about the present, how often do you visit a museum? Um, occasionally. Okay, very good. And you, Carlos Amaya, how often do you visit a museum? I never go to a museum. I never visit a museum. And how often do you ride a bicycle, Jacqueline? Mm, never. I never ride a bicycle. Okay. And what about you, Carlos Amaya? Never. Okay. And how often do you go camping, Jacqueline? Hardly ever. Okay, and you hardly, I hardly ever go camping. Camping, okay. Never. Okay, you never go camping. And how often do you travel abroad, oh. Jacqueline? What is the abroad? Abroad means out of the country. Al extranjero. Uh, in this moment, I. Uh, okay, but how often? I say. Um, Occasionally, occasionally, in this moment, I stay okay. in the Spain. Okay, very good. And you, Carlos, how often do you travel abroad? Never. I never travel abroad. Okay, okay, very good. Then, how often do you order fast food, Carlos Amaya? Mm -hmm. Twice a week. Twice a week, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you or yeah. more <laughs> every day, <laughs> okay. Then what about you, Jacqueline? How often mm -hmm. do you play fast food? Sometimes. Okay, and how often do you play video games, Jacqueline? Cuando tengo tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> But um, occasionally. Okay, occasionally. Yeah. And you, Carlos Amaya? I normally play In games. Okay, very good. Okay, and the last one. How often do you go shopping, Jacqueline? Uh, often. Okay, you often go shopping. And you, Carlos Amaya? I go to shop. I usually go to shopping. I usually go shopping. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back. Volví contigo, Maribel. <risa> y ahora qué estás haciendo perdida como siempre ah, no, pero, pero esta ya la hice ok Janet how often do you go to the cinema I go to the no I hardly ever go to the cinema excellent and what about you Maribel how often do you visit a museum no, no, voy al cine. But, but okay, in English. <laughs> oh, eh, I. I. Never. I never. Go to the cinema. Go to the cinema. Yes, very good. And what about you, eh, Noemi? How often do you ride a bicycle? Uh, I I seldom ride a bicycle. Okay, very good. Marlon, how often do you go camping? I sometimes go camping. Okay, and what about you, Eunice? How often do you travel abroad? I travel okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rosibel, how often do you order fast food? Oh, you are muted. It's saying mute, Rosibel. 
I rarely uh, order fast food. Fast food, okay. Fast food. Eh, Carlos Alberto Vega, how often do you play video games? I usually play video games. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Luis Giovanni, how often do you watch TV? I always you watch TV. I always watch, watch TV. TV. Sorry. Perfect. Don't worry. Andrea Lisbeth, how often do you go to the gym? Never. I never go to the gym. Yes. How often do you order fast food, Amanda? I often order fast food. Okay, very good. And you, Ronald, how often do you play video games? Uh, I hardly ever uh, play video games. Okay. And you, Kevin, how often do you go to the gym? I, I never go to the gym. You never go to the gym. Go to the gym. Okay. All right. And you, Jacqueline, how often do you go shopping? I occasional, I, I often go shopping. Excellent. And you, Carlos Amaya, how often do you play video games? Okay. Carlos Amaya? I usually play video games. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So then don't forget about adverbs of frequency. Okay. Que no se le olvide los adverbios de frecuencia. Yeah. So let me ask you. Look at the pictures, guys, and tell me what does Molly do on each day? Okay. So let's see. What does Molly do on Tuesday, guys? She goes to the cinema. She goes to the cinema. What about on Friday? What does she do on Friday? She go. She goes to shopping. shopping. She goes shopping. She goes, she goes shopping. shopping. What about on Saturday? What does she do? She goes to play tennis. Excellent. And she what plays about? tennis. She plays tennis. Okay. And mon on Monday? She she, she cleans, cleaning their yeah. house. She cleans home. her house. And on Thursday? She, she goes, meeting with her friends. She meets with her friends. She, and on she, Sunday? She's dancing. She goes, she goes, goes dancing. She goes dancing. dancing. Very good. And on Wednesday? She exercises. She exercises. She exercises. Okay. She does exercise. She does exercise. Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now let's take a look at vocabulary. Okay. Let's see. Angel and mom are in the kitchen. Okay. Angel and mom are in the kitchen. They want to bake. What is the meaning of bake? Hornear. Hornear. Cake. Hornear. Yes, they want to bake a cake for their afternoon snack. Let's complete the following sentences with one of the long uh, words below. So let's see. Number one. Angel. Angel. Angel and mom are in the kitchen. Number two. They are wearing their... They are wearing their aprons. Okay, aprons. Okay, aprons. 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 Delantal. Ah. The aprons. Okay, los delantales. Yes, the aprons. They want to. Beta cake. Beta cake. And number four, they put the cake on the. Table. 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 Very Table. good. Let's move. Now we have. Milo loves spending time at home. Let's see how he spends his afternoon. Milo loves spending time at home. At home. 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 He likes playing with his what? Robots. Robots and, and 
Toy. And toy. Boat. Boat. Very good. Boat. Number three. His favorite snacks to eat are? Jogger. 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 No cone. No cone. No cone. Yes, guys. And the last part for today. The parts of your hand. Okay. So we have number one. What is this? Tom. Tom. The Tom. This one? Is the um, finger. 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 Index finger. Index finger. My this dog. one? My dog. My dog. My finger. Middle finger. Middle finger. 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 What about this one? Ring finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. And this one? Pinky. 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 Okay. Pinky. And what about this? Palm. 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 And this? Fist. 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 Okay, fist. so this one is el puño. Fist. Se dice fist. Iron fist. <laughs> yes, fist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Carlos. Okay. Carlos Yes, okay. Hey, primo. Hey, yes. primo. Okay, all right. So, let me see. I'm going to ask you guys, okay, without seeing, okay? How do you say meñique? No. Pinky. 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 Okay. How do you say puño? Fix. Fierce. Fist. Fist. How do Fist. you say palma de la mano? Palma. Oh. 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 How do you say este dedo? Index, index, index finger. Index finger. finger. What about this one? Ring finger. Right finger. finger. Ring finger. Finger. Green finger. Green finger. Green finger. Okay, guys. All right. So we are going to stop right here just because of the time. Vamos a quedar hasta aquí. Okay. Eh, guys, eh, let me see. Está Enrique Arturo. No, I think that no. Eh, no. Janet. Uh, Janet Amaya. Okay. So, Janet, mm -hmm. please stay with me. Se queda un ratito conmigo. Okay. Okay? So, guys, the other ones, thank you for being responsible. Okay, I hope you have a good night, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay? Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. 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 Bye-bye, Carlos. Okay. Um, okay, Janet. So, Janet, how are you? Tell me, how do you feel? Very, very tired. I know. Yes. I, I imagine that. Yeah. Y, y mañana igual y wow. el miércoles también. Why? Tiene inventario. Es que como yo trabajo en negocios hipotecarios, okay. entonces en el cierre de mes se sacan la mayoría de escrituras y los clientes diga que hoy no salí a las 12, en el cierre del mes pasado salimos a las 12 de la noche. Andrea es de la, del área jurídica, no sé si se logró conectar, estuvo ahora, Andrea Monge, porque salió tarde también, la vi que iba quizá antes de las 8 saliendo, yo sí salí a las 9 y 20. Ok. Sí, no, pero sí. sí ahí quedaba. Ok. Sí. Déjeme ver acá, aquí le voy a poner la asistencia porque como no la había visto. Ok. Sí, bastante se conectaron súper tarde. Sí. Ok, eh, bien, bueno, en este caso, Janet, um, uh, uh, this short like, period of, of time is for us to have a feedback, right? To have a short talk, ¿sí? Para conversar un ratito eh, y preguntarle cómo se siente con las clases, cómo se siente con eh, las tareas, con la plataforma, si tiene algún problema, eh, para qué utiliza el idioma inglés o para qué lo va a utilizar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo le surgió la idea de, de aprenderlo? Si siempre le ha gustado, ¿desde cuándo lo ha venido aprendiendo? Y etcétera, ¿verdad? Toda la información que usted me pueda compartir acerca de las clases y de, y de usted del uh -huh. idioma inglés, pues está bienvenida. Pues fíjese que a mí siempre me ha gustado, pero cuando estaba en la universidad, era como siempre he trabajado y estudiado, no tenía tiempo de sacar clases adicionales, ¿verdad? Y entonces en mi carrera solo llevé inglés 1 y inglés 2. Entonces justo en el 2020, que se me dio la oportunidad que hasta me gané media beca en la Academia Europea, eh, empezamos en enero y se vino la pandemia en marzo y 
suspendieron las clases. Sí. Entonces, pero la Academia Europea, bien raro, ya no dio continuidad así virtual. Ok. No nos dio clases virtuales. Y entonces, quizá como a mediados de la pandemia, por ahí en junio del 2020, descargué Duolingo uh -huh. y le estuve como metiendo, metiendo. Antes tenía más tiempo, media hora, una uh -huh. hora. Hoy normalmente cinco minutos, diez minutos, tal vez en la hora de almuerzo. Okay. Y, y es como es que yo siento que he agarrado algo, pues. Sí, cuando veo series o películas, eh, sí la veo que el, el, el audio sea en español, uh -huh. pero la escritura en, en inglés. Okay. ok. Pero hasta ahí no, no he tenido como otra, uh -huh. otra retroalimentación, pero eso sí, sí viajo a Estados Unidos como dos veces al año. Uh -huh. Y yo lo que quiero, como mi esposo pues lo trasladaron a trabajar a Guatemala a finales del 2020, yo me fui con él también, uh -huh. y yo me regresé para El Salvador uh -huh. en marzo de este año, porque allá todavía no ha salido mi residencia. Okay. Y este, allá, sí, la mayoría de gente, hasta la más sencilla que usted conozca, sabe de dos a tres idiomas. Entonces allá es como que para que cuando yo ya tenga mis papeles y busque una plaza, lo mínimo que tengo que saber es español e inglés porque es como algo de cajón. Sí. Sí, Entonces, que ah, sí. en ese momento ya las empresas uh -huh. están pidiendo, ¿verdad? El, el inglés. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces yo ya pasé todas mis evaluaciones en Promérica de, de Guatemala y me, me esperan, pero mientras no salga mi residencia, tampoco me puedo mover, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, perfecto, ok, sí. ok, entonces, eh, bueno, en este caso, pues creo que el propósito es súper grande, ¿verdad? Por el motivo sí. del cual usted está aprendiendo el idioma y, y es sí. una gran motivación, básicamente, Janet, ¿verdad? Sí. El, el mudarse, pues, para otro país y que lo va a utilizar porque es un requisito, ¿verdad? Sí. E igualmente para ir como creciendo, ¿verdad? Dentro de un lugar también sí. tiene que... Entonces, sí. eh, bueno, primero que nada, pues la felicito porque en realidad eh, Duolingo es una muy buena aplicación y usted lo ha hecho como constantemente cuando ha podido y sí. pues los resultados han sido muy buenos porque en realidad usted es una de las que más se desenvuelve en la clase, ¿verdad? Con el idioma. Entonces eso Y otra es... cosa que no tengo pena, a mí me da <risa> igual fallar, equivocarme y si usted me corrige, yo feliz. O sea, sí. yo ni me enojo ni me ofendo, sino que para mí, yo me lo grabo. Sí, entonces es uh -huh. muy bien, está súper sí. bien todo lo que usted está haciendo, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Porque aparte que le guste el idioma, creo que eso le, le, se le facilita un poquito más aprenderlo. Entonces, sí. eh, bueno, primeramente felicitarla por eso. Ahora cuénteme, ¿qué piensa de las clases? ¿Le ha gustado las clases? Eh, ¿Qué le parece la dinámica de la clase que tenemos? Etcétera, ¿verdad? A mí me ha encantado, me súper gusta eh, que usted primero inicia la clase, explica todo, usted misma hace ejercicio con nosotros y luego nos manda a las salas. Comparto bastante con los compañeros y les ayudo ahí a que se quiten sí. la penita. Sí, yo creo que esa es una de las cosas que he notado, ¿verdad? Y, sí. y es súper bueno que usted lo haga porque sí. en realidad eh, también a veces cuando uno puede algo, enseñándolo se le queda todavía un poquito más, ¿verdad? Todavía más. Sí, Ajá, y yo he sido, este, me ha tocado hacer, ¿cómo se llama? Cross training de, de los nuevos, entonces okay. casi siempre he tenido nuevos a la par, nuevos a la par, y es como que a mí eso se me da, no, no tengo ningún problema en compartir lo que sé, okay. y la plataforma ya la terminé. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Mira, que fue súper sí. rápido. Es que la otra sí. semana me voy oh, por, no sé si 10 o 12 días para Estados Unidos, entonces sí me voy a estar conectando las clases, ah, bye. Okay. pero pero este no creo tener tiempo de ir haciendo las, okay. las tareas uh -huh. así como, por eso las adelanté mejor este, este sábado que pude, bye. y la terminé ya está en un 100%. Bye. Perfecto, uh -huh. entonces, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, en realidad pues la felicito, ¿verdad, eh, Janet? Porque en realidad se nota, se nota bastante la dedicación que le pone. ¿Verdad? Y, y eso que no tiene pena es súper bueno también porque le ayuda, le ayuda muchísimo a desenvolverse. Entonces, eh, eh, bueno, mi feedback para usted es súper positivo, ¿verdad? Se nota bastante la motivación y que le gusta el idioma y que también cuando estamos en las breakout rooms está siempre uh -huh. practicando, ¿verdad? Siempre. Sí. Entonces, eso es súper bueno. Tal vez en este caso creo que está de más decirle, pero 
eh, que cabal cuando esté con sus compañeros utilice inglés lo más que pueda ¿verdad? para sí. que ellos eh, vean y que sientan como eso de que usted habla inglés y, y, y ellos también tienen que verdad entonces sí. básicamente eso y felicitarle que siga así verdad que básicamente eh, va a lograr la meta que tiene ¿verdad? gracias ah otra cosa me encanta su pronunciación <risa> ok gracias Jenny. sí gracias. ojalá que Llegue a, a poder un poquito. Claro que sí. No, va a poder, va a ver, ok. Sí, sí. Va, va a aprender bastante porque en realidad se nota y, y, y usted participa. Y eso, créame que es, pero vital cuando uno está aprendiendo el idioma. Y, y eso de cuando uno lo corrige, usted que se le grabe. Y uh -huh. mire, un, un consejo, trate de, de escuchar música en inglés, cántela, pronuncie la, la, las líricas, ¿verdad? Así como, como las escucha. Eh, y, y va a ver que le, o sea, va a ir aprendiendo y va a ir agarrando como el acento, porque eso es muy importante también, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que ser como eso extra de poder como imitar, ¿verdad? Al cantante, sí. usted cante, con se sola o, o donde sea, ¿verdad? Pero hágalo para que vaya desarrollando un poquito más la fluidez, ¿verdad? Y la pronunciación okay. le va a ayudar un montón, porque va por buen camino, ¿ok? okay? Gracias. Bueno, entonces, básicamente, pues eso era de mi parte. No sé si eh, hay algo más que tiene que mencionar de la plataforma. No, ¿verdad? Porque ya terminó no. todo, no le dio ningún problema. Ningún problema. Vale. Entonces, bueno, bueno Janet, vamos a dejar el feedback hasta acá, ¿verdad? Y bueno, okay. justo. Ok, cuídese mucho. Gracias, ¿sabes? igualmente. Feliz noche. Feliz noche. Descanse. Ok, usted también. Okay.